individualism is not the best thing for people because what if someone was yelling at the people with di diverse abilities and the diverse ability didn't like how they were treated and like being yelled at because it can really hurt someone's feelings when they're yelled at and like um, not being treated fairly, so. We're hearing aids. When people say they weren't hearing aids, they don't think I speak. So then they go directly to the person around me. And knowing that people don't think I speak because I'm working it, that does make me feel very hurtful because I feel like they don't want to come up and have a chat with me because they think that I don't speak. How I dealt with ableism is that I was, uh, when I was in school, um, I was told I wasn't able to do a lot of things. Um, or get what I wanted. So I was able to advocate for myself and also for other people that were in my school um, and also for a lot of friends of mine. Um, and that's where I am today because I wouldn't be where I am today without those people who supported me in my life. I'm and I was in my sweet make Abbey, and then the sky walked by with his dog and here. And this is a ugly can use a Recently, one of the my psychology course uses the R my my psychology course used the R word, so I sent it back. So um, like we um, so we're fighting that issue and got me kicked out of school, but now I'm back anyway. Um, being the slightest bit complicit against ableism is evil and. We need to fight ableism on all fronts. We need to declare an open war on hate speech. We need to, yeah, we need to go, we need to crack down on hate speech. Um, they just think, oh, it's only, only for people to see. You have to see to do your job. You have to see to do this. For me, they, they have to say that. They, they say that a lot. There's got to be ways that I, I, I can do by, um, we can do by, but listening and touching. That's the main thing for blind people to do because we don't want um, people saying, oh, you have to see to do this work. You can't, you can't, um, you can't, you know, you can't, um, you, you, it's hard to explain, but for me, it makes me feel uncomfortable, very uncomfortable. Okay, ableism is sometimes not always done on purpose, but sometimes it is, and people should be treated with respect and dignity and not to be out there to hurt people. I also think that um, institutions always have been and always will be a form of genocide. And advocating institutions is advocating genocide and saying and saying institutions aren't genocide is also a form of hate speech in my eyes. And that's what is wrong with I feel with society is that they don't think we can do what we say we can do. And it's about time they they took don't out of can do. People have the right to do what they want to do in their life, just like anybody else. How do you know if you could do it or not if you don't get the chance? And I prove that people 
of the things that they say I cannot do, I done it and I got, I did not listen to them. Disabled lead spaces is not the only way to get rid of ableism. But if having such spaces, then we will be able to get to the root of ableism. If we as a society can agree as to how absurd it would be for if women didn't run their own spaces, same goes for people of color as well as those that are LGBTQ, then surely we should agree that disabled people should run their own spaces as well.